Boston, a former University of Southern California soccer coach who took bribes in exchange for helping unqualified kids into the school was sentenced Wednesday to six months in home confinement after cooperating with authorities investigating the college admissions scam. Prosecutors had not been seeking home confinement or prison time for Ali Kos Roshad, citing his quick acceptance of responsibility and his help in prosecuting others in the massive case. But U.S. District Judge Indira Talwani of Boston decided that prosecutors' recommendation of time served wasn't enough, noting that Kos Roshan dragged his assistant coach into the corrupt scheme, among other things. Kos Roshan, who was the head women's soccer coach from 2007 to 2013, appeared to fight back tears as he apologized to USC, his former athletes, his family and the deserving students who missed out on an admission spot because of his lies and grief. I want to thank the government for bringing this whole thing to light because if they hadn't, innocent hard-working students may still be shut out of schools simply because they don't have the money that others have, and people like me might still be facilitating this," Kos Roshan said. Kos Roshan is the fifth athletic coach to be sentenced in any Operation Varsity Blues probe that revealed a scheme to get wealthy kids into top universities through rigged test scores and bogus athletic credentials. The longest sentence so far for the coaches who accepted bribes, eight months in prison, went to Jorge Solcedo, a former men's soccer coach at the University of California, Los Angeles. That could change Friday, when ex-Georgetown University tennis coach Gordon Ernst is scheduled to be sentenced for pocketing more than $3 million in bribes. Prosecutors are asking for four years in prison, Ernst's attorneys say he deserves about a year. Kos Roshan pleaded guilty in 2019 to helping the bribery scheme's mastermind, admissions consultant Rick Singer, conduct side door deals to get students admitted as recruits even though they weren't Division I caliber athletes. Prosecutors said in court documents that he initially expressed reticence at the idea when approached by Singer, but ultimately decided to join the scheme and pull in his assistant coach, Lori Yanka. On Tuesday, Yanka was sentenced to time served in 50 hours of community service for her role in the scheme. The two of them recruited one or two of Singer's clients to the USC women's soccer team each year, prosecutors said. The bribes were made as payments to the USC soccer program or their private soccer club. Yanka was sentenced Tuesday to time served. You led someone in a way that really turned their life upside down, Dalwani told Kos Roshan.